Hi there, good afternoon. I've just ridden my bike down by the Bow Falls here in Val, just because it's a spectacular day. But uh, I, you know, I put up the odd video of biking around here and there, and a lot of people reach out to me, usually through my website, asking about my actual bike. So I thought I would tell you a little bit about it and do a little bit of a review because um, I bought this bike last year. It was a big deal for me because, well, it was expensive, but also it was my first go at ever getting an e-bike or a fat bike. So I do live here in this mountain town, and so I'm a keen cyclist. I have been my whole life. Uh, and mostly a road biker, but with the amount of snow we have here, my season is pretty short and I thought I wanted something to replace my vehicle. And so I went out, I actually went to, I obviously living in Banff, I went to Bow Cycle in Calgary. Um, overall very helpful, but you know, that's maybe another review for another day. Uh, but I first bought a Norco fat bike and the battery just kept failing. Um, that was about a thousand dollars cheaper than this one. Uh, then Bo Cycle came back after it failed three times and it was obviously very frustrating and they said well I'll tell you what we'll upgrade you to this one. I had to buy new tires and so forth but this is the moustache. It's quite dirty because uh, I've been having so much fun out here in these different conditions. But just to give you a sense of it, <clears throat> this time of year it's a heavy bike. It's probably about 22-23 kilos, maybe even a bit more, nearly 55 pounds or something. Uh, these covers that we put on obviously help a little bit, but they're not that insulated, so I might switch out for an insulated version at some point. Um, but as I do look down here, the tires have studs in them. I try not to ride them too much, not on the snow, but when I'm on the ice and snow, it is amazingly effective. And this is where I get into the point of having this bike as a replacement for my vehicle. So I carry my backpack, I carry a very good lock in it, as you can imagine. Um, but. Uh, but I can do just about all the grocery shopping. But the whole gear system is fantastic. You can ride it without the assist, but it's hard. My son found that out when he took it out for a long ride and hadn't charged it. It does charge up pretty quickly. Plug it in and the plug is down here. Probably one of my first minor complaints is that the plug cover doesn't hold in place particularly well, um, but I have had haven't had any problems with that. Um, but the actual motor, the battery is down here in the system and the motor is the Bosch motor system, which is meant to be the best. I just am not enough of an expert about these things. So I lent on a lot of good friends for advice when I was investing in it. But this is how you actually turn it on. You'll see, I have owned this, like I say, for less than a year. <coughs> um, and I have done 2,400 kilometers on it already. So that is, you know, in miles, that's about, I'm not sure exactly, 1,300 or so. But you have four levels of assist eco and the eco will last for a good long time um two or i want to say a good long time about 60 70 kilometers but you don't want to climb a hill in it then <clears throat> that's the uh sort of adjustable rate system and then the turbo which is full-time boost that one you can only get about 40 even less probably 38 kilometers out of it but i can ride up a steep hill to home and i can ride up at full speed i try and ride around and tour partly for exercise or eco and then if i'm going up a steep hill I'll switch it out. The other really fun feature is in here. I don't know, we'll see it very well, but there's an actual switch which drops the seat. So if you stop at a street light or something, you drop it down because of the weight of the bike and you can put your foot on the ground. So really straightforward. Um, the little rack, obviously I put on the back. Uh, I haven't used it that much yet because I tend to use a backpack, but longer term, I, I would like to get a case for doing the shopping. I switch the tires out as soon as the snow starts to melt. Um, <clears throat> now the whole big picture, is it depends what currency you're in but it's 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 expensive all right it's it's um thousands and you can look them up online now the company is mustache it's a french company and this is called the samd 26 fat four um now the big battery i take it out very rarely by the way somewhere on here i also hid one of those tracking air tracking chips in case anyone ever tried to steal it that's a different story now the negative side after I had this for not very long, I did a ton of riding. I have gone head over heels twice on the trails. That's my own fault, being in full turbo, going as fast as I can. The assist will help you up to 30 kilometers an hour. That's legal in Canada, that's the law. There's no throttle, you have to pedal, but you can choose how much or how little you want to work. But I hit a tree stump and went right over. Thank goodness I had a helmet on. Um, I'm not wearing one now when I'm just going around town and we could discuss the veracity of that. Um, but I certainly do if I'm actually going to the trails. And another time going down a steep hill, I went over. So, and it's a lot of weight to move over. That was the learning curve. However, not long after 
owning it. The main disc became loose on the front here. And apparently it's something that does happen now and then. I had to, well, I had it fixed by our local bike guy who's fabulous, but this was the only one of these he'd worked on until I had to get those parts actually repaired. And, and that was a warranty issue. Now they did come through, but like everything in the world these days, you wait and wait and wait and wait. So that was one of my frustrations. And then when I took it in for servicing, suddenly they didn't have parts and you know, that was frustrating to me. And what had happened, and again, I think it was a fault in the system early on, but what had happened as well, and something I've learned now, I now try and put it into a lower gear and when, I, when I'm parking it, and I start off a bit more slowly. The, the natural inclination, inclination was to jump on the bike and just go as fast as possible. That wasn't a great move because what it did and what can happen is it strips these highest gears down at the bottom. I'm actually in quite a high gear right now, um, but it stripped them. And so then they would actually click and roll over. So it's important to try and move through those gears a little bit as much as possible. Start off slowly and then when you get up to speed. So now if I'm coming down a hill and I know I'm going to be coming to a full stop at a stop sign or something like that, then I actually gear down and start off a little more slowly. So I'm going to try that right through the winter now and then hopefully that will be great news for next year. Now I do need to get it and clean it. You don't hose it off really close. You actually wash it with some you know warm soapy water you can see it's quite a mess because the other day when we got above freezing I was just going through all sorts of ponds which was great fun at that time so that is overall the uh, the bike itself um, it is very very easy it's easy to ride even with one hand so that's why I can do live virtual tours either on YouTube or Facebook um, I do love it I must admit I've always been a, a cyclist but uh, my neighbor who is way more experienced with e-bikes he says you just get this this sort of glow on because you can just go forever on them and it's true and this year we've had a very odd winter but um, sometimes the rivers freeze over and you can ride right up them earlier in the year just show you I put on some lights as well which are well worth it at night um, and so I ride it around town the uh, the only factor of winter riding the hands I can wear really good gloves now it's nice we're right just above freezing right now so I even have bare hands but my feet get cold so that's just my one factor because the pedals aren't that aren't really much bigger boots would be a hassle so I usually find in the really cold days you know well below freezing about 45 minutes um, and then I do put the helmet on the goggles I dress like I'm going skiing but it's my feet that kind of get cold but anyway there is the fat bike it is awfully fun I will get it serviced twice a year uh, and while all of that's quite expensive hey it's a lot cheaper than paying insurance and everything on a vehicle and it's way healthier so do feel free to contact me with any questions thanks and enjoy by the way I'm just down below the Banff Springs Hotel here